Okay. So now we need to proceed to determine the quantity of seepage from the flow net. Okay, now once you have complete set of flow net, all right, as you can see here, that now we need to proceed how to get the seepage. Okay, so the seepage, this is the equation for the seepage. To get the seepage, this is the equation. Q equivalent to K times H times NF over ND. So the Q is the quantity of seepage in a unit of meter cube per second. And K is the coefficient. Okay, K is the coefficients. And then the H is head causing flow. Alright, and NF is the numbers of flow lines. And ND is the number of equipotential lines. So that value of NF and ND will be determined from the flow net. Okay. So now we need to determine the NF in order to complete this question. Okay, so since we have the K, K is already given, which is the coefficients of mobility. And H just now is actually here, right? So 5.5 meter minus 0 0.5 meter, which is equivalent to 5 meter is the H. Okay, okay now. Uh, how to determine the NF? So just now, NF is the numbers of flow line. Okay, flow lines. So it will from the flow lines. So since the water flow from the upstream to the downstream here, okay, they're going downwards and then going upward at the lower level. So the complete movement, the complete movement from here, to here is considered one flow line. And then you have another flow lines. Number two, and you have another flow line. And don't forget, okay, at the boundary, at the bottom here, boundary AB here, line boundary AB also considered is one of the flow lines. So we have an F equivalent to four. Okay, now for, for the ND, Okay, so look at the yellow color here, right at the left side. Okay, that one consider zero. And then the second one is on the left side. Okay, it's actually start from the upstream. Eh? We, we normally number the equipotential line is from the upstream. So number two, that is number three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and don't forget we have another boundary. Okay, just now we have that point here to here. That one also considered as a uh, equipotential line. So we have ND is equivalent to 11. So now we, ha we have all the data, we have all the information including an F and ND. So we can calculate the C pitch. Alright, so we can calculate the C pitch. Uh, given K is mm per second. Okay, so since all the uh, parameter or dimension is in meter, so that's why we convert the kmm per second to meter per second. Alright, so you will have k in meter per second. And then just substitute in the equation. So q equivalent to k is 7.2 exponent negative 6 meter per second. H 5 meter, NF 4, ND 11 and we times with uh, 1 meter length because again uh, we have a line, eh? a line of ship pile is actually that is the length, all right? So we will have the Q is 1.3 exponent negative 5 meter per second because the unit in meter cube. So that's how we have another meter is actually from the uh, meter length of the uh, line of sheet pile here. All right, it's not necessary one, but we will have another meter per length, okay? So that the unit will become meter cube.